Do your pal cats love getting on the tables? Oh my gosh, what's in my fountain? My girl looks puzzled and stressed. Same girl, same. Honestly, I did not miss the- Um, we have enough- Oh! <gasps> Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Sunstone and today I will be working on decorating my Pelia plot. So it has recently come to my attention that my plot is a disaster. I know it doesn't look like it at first. You know, looks can be deceiving. It, the entry is fine, um, but everything else is a bit of a mess. I have all sorts of clutter over here. I have random star stones. I have hot pots. This is a mess. I'm growing flowers. I just have random stuff everywhere. I feel like it's maybe even worse on the other side too. I'm trying to let these all finish growing so I can move on with my life and redesign my garden. I'm just gonna focus on fixing up the outside. Yeah, look, it's a mess over here. What am I doing? Am I hosting a dinner party? with no chairs, but I think I'm just gonna literally start by picking up everything and putting it away and starting with a clean slate because sometimes when I just try to move things around that are already out here, I get confined. Hey, you guys, do, do your pal cats love getting on the tables? Get off. Probably just wants a snack. Um, But yeah, when I just move stuff around that already exists, I feel like, I don't know, I don't feel like I have a blank canvas to work with. So we're gonna give ourselves a blank canvas and uh, hope for the best. Yeah, my pockets are full, okay. Oh no, my storage is full. Okay, Um. well, luckily furniture doesn't take up storage. Let's, let's, what should we do? We should upgrade our storage. Okay, let's go, let's go do it, let's go do it. It's long overdue, honestly. Okay, so to upgrade our storage, we have to go to Tisha's furniture store and interact with the cash register. Oh my gosh, there's so many new wallpapers and stuff. 50k? Okay, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It hurts. But we still have 40k left, so it's not too bad. Okay, so let's make one of these storage chests. Oh my gosh, scroll until you go cross-eyed. H-L-I-I. -I. Let's upgrade them all so we can max out our storage. Now we have 10,000 spots. Let's go back to decluttering. I love this fountain, but I need it to be like more prominent. Oh! Oh my gosh, what's in my fountain? What? Why is there a little baby phoenix plushie in my fountain? What? How did you get in there, sir? Can I fish you out and keep you? Have you guys ever seen that before? Okay, I'm not picking up the fountain. We're leaving it there. Okay, a main attraction is to figure out where we're going to put the soil, where we're going to have our garden. Although, I need to see all the new furniture before we do that. Okay, that is so much better already. So, I want to focus on the entrance and then my garden area. I'm gonna put the stone on the bay windows. And then I'm gonna put the ivy on the front facing walls because I like how that looks. Oh my gosh, we're being photobombed by trees. So I bought the first three recipes in the Spring Fever set uh, from Ba Drew's Garden Shop. Oh, here's the third one. I definitely bought three, I'm only seeing two, so I might have to investigate. A hundred heartwood blanks? All right, so if that's any indication of what we're gonna need for the other items, uh, let's start sawing logs here. Large, large. Why would they do that? Why wouldn't they call it Spring Fever Lights Large? But look, we can make this one. Look how cute too. Okay, we're definitely gonna make one. We'll definitely have to make more than one, but we gotta unlock the stuff through inspiration. Okay, this is one of my favorite things to do is unlock. We could get the other string lights, but look at this one. This looks way more tempting. Ooh, spring fever rock edging. Oh, look at that. 20 by 20. Okay, it's 20 stone for 20 pieces. That seems reasonable. I'll probably have to make 500, but we'll start with 20. Got a little tutorial moment. So we're gonna get this one. I need this one. <laughs> spring fever pergola. Oh, we can make it? Say less. <gasps> we have enough because it's 80. Oh my gosh, we're gonna need so many hardwood planks. Um, Definitely making that. Spring fever pergola. Let's go with the mystery item. Ooh, a short lamp. Wait, it looks kind of like a honey lure. Oh, maybe not. Kind of. This is cute. This one, if it needs rocks, we can make it. If this one needs the heartwood planks, we're, we're fresh out. So I'm gonna go with this one. I'm trying to be strategic so we can unlock more recipes before I have to go chop trees. My girl looks puzzled and stressed. Same girl, same. Yes, we can make it eight rocks. Oh, no problem. Three unknowns. Well, this looks like a lamp. I'm gonna go with this one because I have no idea what this one is. 
Oh, this is the wood edging. 20 heartwood planks. Oh, I made a wrong move. We still have this one to unlock before we reach a dead end. Let's make this spring fever wheelbarrow. We bought this one as well from Badru. Please show me something we can make. Oh gosh, this one's definitely gonna be wood. This one could maybe not be wood. This one also can maybe not be wood. Let's try this one. Ooh, spring fever fire pit. Yes, we can make it. We can make it clay and stone. 40 though, we're gonna run out of stone. Excellent. Okay, these both definitely need wood. There's a chance this one won't. So let's go with this one and then we're gonna have to go collect materials. A chimenea? Is that how you say that? Okay, let's see if we can make this one. I forget what this one required. Oh no, is it? Is it a size? Maybe this one's medium? I really wish I was paying attention. Medium spring fever lights, which means we should be able to make this small one too. We're in business. I've stayed alive a lot longer than I thought I would with this. Let's unlock this one. Spring fever curved lamp. Curved lamp, we can make that too. Oh my gosh, we almost unlocked everything in one go. If only I had more, um... <gasps> uh, I stand corrected. We unlocked everything in one go. So there's also the flat trellis. Okay, for this one, we need heartwood. Let's go to Bahari. Don't judge me on my focus. It's not gonna be... Oh gosh, not the Mujin. Honestly, I did not miss the... Clearly, you can see why I didn't miss them. They're always charging me. Apparently, there's a flow tree uh, in the area. So we're gonna see if we can reach it. If not... I never stress about flow trees. If I don't make it in time, there's always gonna be another one, but if someone calls it out or if I see a flare, I do usually go check. I see a flow tree over here. Looks like they are struggling to break it on their own. Can I help? Teamwork. If that was you, let me know. What was I doing? Oh yeah, <laughs> we're chopping trees. Okay, Um, we have enough. Oh, <gasps> Get down, get down, get down. Oh my gosh, don't go up there. Don't do that ever again. You're gonna get your tail chopped off. Um, I really need something to eat, so I'm gonna make something. What should we make? Let's make, uh, something I have the ingredients for. How about that? Mm, I actually need these bacon stuffed mushrooms for a vault bundle, so let's make these. A tomato. Flip it. We need to make some bacon. Add the ingredients. Oh, we even got quality, even though I didn't ask for it. So let's eat that. Let's make one of these first. And then let's go get some modification kits. Let's make sure we still have 40k when we're done. I feel like I'm gonna need a bunch. Let's get 60. I'm also gonna go to City Hall. Let's just get as many as we can. We can get five. I don't know if I want a burnt barrel roof, to be honest. Let's try leaf and sun drop and iron. Those are the most promising to me. The green on green might be too much. Green, you know, with the ivy on the side. If I wanted to not have ivy, the green could be good. Let's try this one. Oh, I thought it was gonna be more like citrine. Maybe I like that one. <laughs> the way I like don't love any of them. Actually, I do like that better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my modification bench. I just wish I could see it better than this icon, you know? Also to be completely real with you guys, most of the color variants for these, like don't do it for me. And a lot of times I'll like customize something and then regret it because it uses so many kits. Oh, autumn might be nice for this one. It's like a different shade of wood. I think I'm probably gonna go with that one. But I think I should see what the defaults of these look like. I just wanted to know what my options were. Okay, this doesn't change the color of the flowers, just the wood. I'm probably not going to change many of these. Maybe some of them will change to autumn. But let's... Oh, it's getting dark. Well, let's look at the lights then. <gasps> these are so cute. Is that the large? Yeah. The large, the medium, the small. Let me customize the small one to a different color and see if I like it before I do any of the bigger ones. Or Autumn or Calathea. Okay, I like that this wood color goes better with my house. See what it looks like in Calathea. Ooh, I like that one too. I guess it depends what we want to do with them. It's like I knew I was going to put this here. I like that one in color and in size. Now, should I bring it? Can I bring it closer? How come I can't bring it closer? Is it because of the tree? I do like the tree there, though, so I'm leaving the tree. This is kind of cute. Wait, this is kind of cute. I really don't like that we can't put things on the dirt around the trees. It makes it so difficult to decorate, actually. But somehow this one's fine. I guess it's because I had it placed before. So I'm not moving those trees because then I'm going to have to redesign all that. Now, what on earth are we going to do with this long one? Oh, maybe around the garden. Wherever the garden ends up being. Now there's a little baby dragon plushie. 
Why have I never seen this before? Obviously, I don't pay attention. They're just so little and small. Um, I definitely have to figure out where to put this. Something like this would be cute with like a bunch of flowers around it. Let's look at the other items. This one is absolutely gorgeous. No, these are cute. That's good. That's good there. I like that. I might get rid of these ones. I just had them here because it was like all I could find. How do I feel about these front ones though? Oh, this definitely has to go with my garden. Okay, we have to figure out where the garden's gonna go. I'm kind of thinking we're gonna do like a path on this side that'll take us to the garden, which will be like here. Although, hold on, are we gonna mirror this? I think I should try and get the other rooms being built so I can like see where my house is gonna like take up space. A medium room and a small room. I think I'm gonna build another pavilion too for symmetry. <laughs> and out of curiosity, I wanna see what this one looks like too. Oh, uh, let's go say Tish. Why do I love how her roof looks when it's green? Maybe because she has plain walls? Tish, I'm just here for some early morning shopping, don't mind me. <laughs> this is great for, it would be great for my crafting area. Let's get that. I just want like more items to work with, you know? Oh, I need that well for my garden. Otherwise, I'm gonna be running back and forth watering my crops. Oh, uh, I want the grow house, but practicality says get the well. I want this so bad, but I know I need to get the well, so I'll get that. Ani, what do you have? Well, this lure one's cute. <gasps> I have enough for both of these. Oh my gosh, do I get the bonsai or do I get the planter? Really want both of them, but I feel like this one might be better for outside. So I'm gonna get the planter. So we're gonna add another medium room here. And then another small one here for symmetry. Oh, except I can't do that yet. Where should I attach it where it won't cause a problem? Mm, it'll probably cause the least of a problem here. I have another pavilion and another windmill because why not? Now we need to contribute materials. Sweet. I have enough for that one. I do not have any more <laughs> planks, okay? I think I have all this stone. Okay, so we need more sapwood planks. Shocker. I'm thinking we'll have a nice path that goes through here. And then the garden will be like here. And this is such an amazing item. I want this to be like the front and center. Maybe this will be part of the path that brings us to the garden, you know? Like we'll actually go over the bridge. Can I change the roof of these? <gasps> I can. Oh, I really like that one. I really like that roof. I'm glad I picked it up. I like how I said I was just going to do the front entrance and now I'm like over here. <laughs> Wait, this could work here though. I know it's a little bit small, but we can make it work with some little tricks. You see? And what else? Like something here. I don't know what it'll be yet. Okay, this sound of this is low key bugging me. <laughs> I definitely need to move this windmill. It's too close to my pavilion. So the edging is the other thing I'm thinking of. And I think if I want any amount of peace in my life, I think I should use stone. Even though, wait, what? Is that how it's supposed to look? I actually like the stone better for this, but I think this would be really cute to make like flower beds. This is not centered. I'm destroying it. Can't take it anymore. Okay, that looks great. Now, we don't have enough fence pieces. No, shocker. Okay, we have to make a bunch more of those. And then, oh, and then we got the well, which I think I'll put out here. Probably where these flowers are. I think I'm gonna put both of these purple flowers in the koi pond. Maybe some of these ones too. I definitely need to get more flowers. Yeah, I love how those ones look. Yeah, I like that, okay. I think this is just gonna be like a little flower garden. And if you guys didn't know, you can actually fill up your watering can in this. Ooh, I wonder how this new item will look. <gasps> I love this. I was thinking of putting like, yeah, a candle or something on. Oh my gosh, it makes effects like that, that's cool. Maybe I want to say something like that. So crafting will be over here. I did get that new table from Tish. Oh, that's super cute. Turn page. <gasps> oh, that's cute. Oh, I can only make one more. We have to go get more rocks. It never ends. It never ends. That was 40. So I need maybe 150, 120. Let me see what this is like. Oh, this is cool. Let's go like here. I like that it's glowing like that. That's cool. Very cool, very cool. Maybe this one, honestly. I only wish I would have bought more of these when they were available. I didn't have enough money. So those are super cute. Yeah, I love that. I kind of wanted this to be like en route to the garden, maybe? I'm not sure. Hold on, this actually might be really cute. Yeah, I like that. I'm gonna grab some of these bushes. 
They're technically gardenias, but they look very bushy. And I love them for that. I love how much flexibility there is with the flowers. Like they can clip into things really nicely. Yes, it looks so good. Okay, I'm really liking this so far. So then we'll go like this way. Da -da 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 -da. Eventually we'll have a path here when they give us paths. <laughs> um, so I'm like imagining for the future. Let's see these other items. So, oh yeah, I think this wheelbarrow we'll put with the farm. Oh my gosh, it's looking beautiful. I think we need some trees back here, uh, which I should be planting trees. You used to be able to just plant them and they would be instantly like there for you. But the trade-off was you couldn't move them around. So now you can move them around and you can have them stall the different growth stages, but you have to actually like wait for them to grow in. At this point, I don't even know which tree is which. Don't worry, these are gonna be trees. Looks like my pal cat was digging around back here. I was a little ambitious <laughs> planting these. This is taking me forever to water. I think I got them all. Okay, other new items we got before another day has passed. We got this, like fire pit. Oh, that's cool. Of course, my pal cat wants to go in it. And we got this. Chimenea, cozy, cozy, cozy. I feel like these would go well in like the crafting side of things. I really need to get more flower types, but so far these are the only ones I have. And you know what? They're beautiful. So I don't have any complaints. I just want more. Cute. I'm totally putting off uh, getting the stones on purpose because I don't want to. Ah, <laughs> uh, the Cernuk would be cute to have around here. That way you can only like see them if you're at a certain angle, otherwise he kind of hides. I like that, I think, but we'll see. If you're not ever like not sure about something you're doing for design, just like let it cook for a bit. Like just let it be. And come back to it later, see if you still like it or not. That's what I always do. Don't like stress about making a decision right on the spot. Okay, oh yeah, I wanted to put like a ton of these wall pieces like on the outside. If I put it there. Yeah, that looks cool. I have to make a bunch more of those. Okay, we're gonna have to get regular sapwood as well as stone. It's always the basic stuff that I think I have plenty of and then I realize like I've used it all. Remember when I said I was just gonna do the entrance? Okay, so we need sapwood and we need stone. The two like most basic ingredients. <laughs> ingredients? I love how these nodes stick around now. So if someone else wants to come by and get those now, they're still gonna be there for them for at least a, a limited time. I feel like that was such a game-changing update when it comes to multiplayer. Also, while we're out here, we can see if we can find the rummage pile of the day. Oh my gosh, not Frogbert staring into my soul. I just want basic stone. Here we go. This little baby node. Oh, here's the rummage pile. Let's see what we get. Do you think it's gonna be worms? Do you think it's gonna be uh, stone? Maybe it'll be wood and for once we'll actually use it <laughs> and need it. Oh! <gasps> Okay, we're having a lucky day. I guess we can't see that. We got a recipe. We'll have to check that out when we get back to uh, the plot. I genuinely thought we were gonna get like stone or sapwood. So I think I said I needed like 150 stone and I don't think I was exaggerating because it took 40. Oh, we got a citrine. It took about 40 pieces to do almost one edge of my garden. So it'll take more than that. It'll probably take like 50. Oh! <gasps> No way! I have been trying to get a star quality onyx for what feels like forever. Let's go! That is so exciting. Oh my gosh, you guys brought me good luck. Thank you, thank you. Now we can display that one. That's one of the ones I'm missing. I think that's the only one I'm missing that you can get in Kilima for like quality. The other ones I need to get from Bahari. I still need amethyst, aquamarine, and ruby. Oh my gosh, and another citrine. We've got two citrines and a star quality onyx in like the last two seconds. See, this is dangerous. This is gonna get me on a mining kick, but dopamine is real. I actually can't believe how much we are accomplishing. <laughs> we should do these more often. By the way, let me know down in the comments if you like this style of video for paleo content. See, it's flashing like this. That's because someone else uh, recently mined it. Oh! <gasps> A quality quartz. I think we have enough for now. So let's go home. Let's do eight of these. And then the swing. This one looks so cute. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but it's adorable. Ooh, yay, we leveled up uh, furniture making. Got some medals. <gasps> I got a trophy too. Expert furniture maker reached level 25 in furniture making. Cool. I definitely have to eventually make a spot for my trophies because I have a lot of them and I don't have anywhere to put them yet. So let's line the rest of our garden here okay that's cute it's looking good i like that now if i do apple trees i think they have to come at the front because otherwise they're gonna block this stuff or like on this side 
<gasps> we can put stuff in the, the wheelbarrow. I should fill it with crystals. Look at the onyx. Oh, let's get our crystals and fill the wheelbarrow with crystals. I like that idea. Definitely keep all of your star quality crystals. And there's space for them once I get like all of the different kinds. There should be space for all of them in there. Look how cute that looks. Oh my gosh, we need to display that somewhere where we can like really see it. Yeah, that's cute. I like that a lot. I like it. I like it. Okay, and let's check out the swing as well. <gasps> it's huge. Oh, this is gorgeous. Where does my girl want to sit? I feel like she probably wants to sit by the pond. Oh, and the fruit basket has to go over here. This is another item I wanted to get multiple of, but I didn't have enough funds to do so. Looking good. Oh, look at my trees. Do we want to keep any babies or do we want to water them again? Just give me five to six business days to finish this up and I'll be right back. Okay, we're done. That is so cute. Having like a mat underneath this would be really nice. I don't have anything yet, so maybe we can put down... I don't know if that does anything the leaves. I mean, it doesn't not do anything. Oh yeah, this light too is super cute. So I wanted to see if I could put individual stones. <gasps> we can. So this is kind of really cool. So I think that's where I'm gonna leave it for now. Uh, we got a lot accomplished. I ended up kind of starting thinking I was gonna do my entryway. And then by the end of it, we did a whole other build over here. This is my favorite area that we worked on. It looks so, so pretty. It's definitely not done yet. We need pathing, we need trees, we need more flowers, more decor, but I think we're off to a really good start. It's so pretty. Like just imagine this with trees on either side and a pathway, my little gem cart. And then we started the garden area. So now I know it's gonna go here. I can actually plant stuff again and deck out this pavilion with a bunch of flowers and stuff. I have new buildings that we started. We are just getting so much done and I'm really happy with how this all turned out. I also did this little area over here. I thought it was pretty cute. So yeah, lots of little bits and pieces. I love this choppa swing too. Look how cute this is. Isn't that just adorable? I think that is so adorable. So yeah, lots of good progress. I hope you all enjoyed coming on this lovely journey with me. I had so much fun. Let me know which new addition, new piece of furniture, new area is your favorite from what we checked out today. I always love hearing from you in the comments. Please go ahead and shine the lovely like button if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. And with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. I love you all and until next time, take care.